Welcome back to another episode on Front Row on Economy.LK. Uh, we're in conversation today with Jehan Mutalif, who is the Chief Digital Officer at MAS Holdings. Um, I think we're going to talk a lot about, not specifically on what they are doing in terms of the apparel um, side of things, but in terms of the digital side of things, where things are heading uh, in that direction in terms of disruption, and then talk about the digital economy strategy. Welcome, Jehan. Thank you. Um, so in terms of, I think we sort of overuse this word disruption, uh, sectors are being disrupted, products are coming online, but for apparel, uh, disruption I guess has happened through the value chains um, and, and a lot of that has changed over the last few years. Hmm. MAS has had to maybe realign its model, maybe remodel its uh, existing strategies. Um, how has it been, how has that journey been over the last few years and what are some of the trends that you, that we hear about that will be more applicable moving forward. Right. Um, so, Shiran, firstly, uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, so, if you look at uh, our industry and if you start with the consumer, because that's where the disruption is happening, um, our customers, we being a predominantly a, a, a B2B player, their customers are shifting. So, they're shifting from a brick and mortar play to an online play. And our brand, the, the, the brands that we are um, working with are forced to play in the um, di digital space as well. Now what we're seeing what's happening is when that when it moves, the demands that is that it's been put on us as a supply chain partner is just chaos, right? Because um, the level of reaction they could respond to on an online platform is much far than being a brick and mortar player. So then they expect us to be agile, they expect us to give speed, and um, they expect us to respond for their, and, and delay their decisions. So that is where the dis disruption is happening. So from our point of view, we need to make sure that we align our manufacturing processes to be as agile as possible. And we are looking at technology to support us with certain decisions so that we are agile in our manufacturing process to kind of face that disruption. And some of these technologies um, going forward, um, it, will that also be something that uh, industries like yours have to adapt to or is it just some of these are more passing through? Um, some of the technologies we will have to adapt to and some of those might be even different uh, business models. So. A B2B business model might we might have to change it to a B2B to C business model, where we are actually taking off some of the processes in the whole value stream in order to achieve shorter lead times. Uh, we might have to adapt technology like virtual prototyping in order to reduce the lead time in terms of the whole development process. So there is some technologies that we are working on in order to make sure that we shrink uh, the lead time as much as we could. Sure. Shifting away from the apparel um, sector and the disruption there, um, at a national level, Sri Lanka is trying to uh, put forward this digital economy strategy. I know you're a key part of that uh, drive. Um, what exactly is this strategy trying to uh, get across? And with every strategy out there, it's all about implementation. Mm -hmm. And I believe this has, is taking implementation as the first uh, starting point in, in terms of in, uh, getting across the strategy through. Yes. Um, so I feel as a, as a country, um, as a predominantly a B2B exporter, um, and when the landscape out there in the consumer landscape is also moving into a digital front, there is an opportunity for us to capture more value in the whole value stream. Meaning, there is an opportunity to go beyond manufacturing for existing businesses where we can say we will do things more than what we are doing today. So that's where I feel that uh, digital economy strategy would support in terms of we are talking about a um, free trade zone uh, which will support digital commerce uh, where the existing big B2B players could leverage on to kind of extend their value proposition to the existing B2B customers. Plus, if you look at certain SMEs in the country, this gives them an opportunity to make the whole world a playing field. Because currently, as small and medium scale businesses, they will struggle because there is no such vehicle for them to launch into the global economy. And um, 
the digital economy strategy would focus mainly on bringing the SMEs out there as well. All right. Um, so there you heard it in terms of Jehan's views on the digital economy strategy and in terms of some of the disruptions that's actually taking place practically and making uh, their business more agile um, and requiring certain uh, changes in terms of business models. Thank you, Jehan, so much for Thank joining much. on Front Row. And for our viewers, stay tuned for um, more episodes like this where we touch on uh, very relevant and contemporary topics for, for discussion.